notes, another racist attack against black people leaves three folks dead in Jacksonville, Florida. On Saturday, a white racist first went to Edward Waters University. He tried to get on that campus, was pushed, was pushed back by security. And then they also notified authorities the campus was placed on a lockdown. He then went to a Dollar General armed with an AR-15, made it clear he was there to kill, quote, niggers. He shot and killed three folks uh, in the parking lot as well as in the store before turning the gun on himself. Yes, armed with an AR-15 assault rifle. Angela Michelle Carr was dropping off an Uber passenger at Dollar General when she was struck by gunfire killed uh, inside of her car. Arnold, uh, Arnold Joseph Laguerre Jr., 19 years old, store employee, plus 29-year-old Ger uh, Gerald Deshaun Galleon was shopping inside Dollar General with his girlfriend when, again, this racist shot and killed him uh, in this particular shooting. Uh, folks, uh, the gunman, again, bought a handgun in April as well as an AR-15 assault rifle in June. He lived with his parents in a neighboring county, had no criminal arrest history, although he had been temporarily and voluntarily held under, ba under, the, under the Baker Act in 2017. Police say racist manifestos written by him have led them to believe that he committed the shooting because it was the fifth anniversary of another mass shooting in Jacksonville. Uh, and that, that was uh, what took place that day, August 28, 26, 2018, when a white 24-year-old gunman killed two and injured 11 at a Madden NFL video game tournament before killing himself. Again, this was a heinous act. It truly was. Uh, but we had to remember, man, what is really going on here? Uh, again, they're fanning the flames of racial division in this country over and over and over again. People like Roland Martin, that is what they do. They fan the flames of racial division in this country. And then they don't understand why things hurt the way they are. They don't. You know, the thing is, man, we have to remember, you are much more likely several times more likely to be attacked by a black person if you're white than by a white person if you're black. We truly have to understand that. And then, man, I'm going to put a couple of clips from a text that uh, the black man committed on white men because they're white. That from earlier this year. And we have to remember there wasn't national media coverage about these. You know, again, most people, they never even heard of this. But everybody and their mom was going to hear about this. As Rob Masson reports, they say one of the suspects has admitted to his role, saying they just wanted to go out and kill a white guy. They have been booked with the first-degree murder of 66-year-old handyman Lawrence Herr, also known as Peanut, who was gunned down while repairing this mailbox on Kenner's Georgetown place last month. Of the accused gunman who randomly killed two men in North Tulsa. We now know the killings were likely racially motivated. Fox 23 Scott Martin was in the courtroom today and learned the new charge that suspect faces. The newest charge against Carlton Guilford is a malicious intimidation or harassment charge. And according to court documents, he shot two people randomly because of their race. Days after being denied bond, Carlton Guilford faced a judge virtually for his arraignment. He's charged with two counts of first-degree murder, two counts of shooting with intent to kill, and now a new charge, which falls under what Oklahoma considers a hate crime. We truly have to understand what's happening here. Again... Over 50% of all violent crime is committed by black folks, even though they're less than 13% of the population. So again, we have to truly recognize what's happening. You know, again, all, all, all killing, doesn't matter what it is, is abhorrent. It's wrong. And we have to truly remember that. But again, we truly also got to understand that it's not reported the other way around like it is. If it's, if it's white, a white person committing something towards a black person. Again, we have to understand that it is not reported the other way around. Because again, what they're doing is they're playing you. They are playing you. They are fan the flames of racial division in this country. We truly got to understand that. And of course, people like Roland Martin, I'm going to show you. That is exactly what he does. 
right now is the state Florida State Representative Angie Nixon. Uh, glad to have you uh, with us. First and foremost, uh, it, it is uh, shocking and stunning what's happening. The thing that jumps out at me initially, different media outlets called it racially charged, racially tinged. No, this white racist made it clear he was out to kill black people. Yes, most definitely. Let's be clear. It was racist violence. It was white terror that occurred this past weekend. And we cannot allow them to sterilize or sanitize, sanitize what really happened. And, you know, folks are starting to say, well, he had mental issues. No. He was a racist who hated black people, who had an agenda that got, he was riled up clearly by elected officials across this state who have done nothing, done nothing but, they've done nothing but embolden folks like him with their rhetoric, with their gaslighting, with their hateful anti-woke policies, which we know are only dog whistles to to rile up their base, much like what happened here on Saturday. I am I'm upset. The community's upset. I'm actually co-hosting a rally today. They, I'm in a car and they're behind me. And there are hundreds of people out here that are angry, righteously so. And so we we are upset and we will not stand I by and allow our governor to try to spin this because at the end of the day he is running for president and if he is doing things like this right. in the state of Florida you can only imagine what's happening what will happen across our country yeah man it's truly funny that you know a majority of attacks racial attacks interracial attacks happen from black onto white again we truly get to understand that several times more likely Again, again, if if you're white to be attacked by a black person, that if you're black to be attacked by a white person, we truly have to understand that. And and again, we also have to understand, you know, attacks happen all the time on white folks by black folks because they're white. You know, again, because they're Asian. You know, Asian attacks. So again, we truly have to understand that kind of stuff. But again. They want to fan the flame that vision only one way. They want to make it look like everything is so bad from one way, which again, it's not. Not even close. It's much worse the other way around. And that is acceptable. That is an acceptable form of racism. But again, man, nobody says anything again the other way around. They don't. So again, it's championed. And that they go out there and yell and scream and whatever and say racist, racist, man, it's horrible, it's horrible. Now, but if a black person, if a black man walks in and starts shooting white guys, that's, you know, that's understandable because of all the oppression on black folks. Again, I'm going to stick up a clip from the, the uh, Jesse Lee Peterson show from yesterday. And a caller called in and was saying that exact thing that is revenge for black people to go in there and kill white people but it's racist if a white guy goes in and kills black people we truly have to understand guys what is happening when blacks kill whites every day as they're doing is well, that is so that is that racism uh, show me where blacks are killing is, white is that every racism? Day. Is that racism? No, because because you're lying. When, blacks don't kill whites every day. When white people, when black people hunt down white people and kill them, is that racism? No. Why no. is that not racism? That's revenge, Jesse. That's revenge. Yes. But if a white person does it to a black, that's racism. And when he said at his own when mouth, white people do it to down. black people, is that racism? Yes. Why is one different than the other? Because white's been doing it from the beginning of time, Jesse. What time? It was when they first came into this land, they was killing them, they were killing themselves in the beginning. Among themselves, they were killing each other. And was it racism? And we truly have got to understand the, the mindset. The mindset involved with this. 
You know, again, man, you could you, you think that black people can go and shoot white people because that would be revenge. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Uh, again, that person did nothing to you. No, again, there's no difference between this white guy going out and shooting and killing black folks. Again, no, no difference. You know, he, I, again, he's attacking people based on the color of their skin because of the hatred in his heart. And again, it goes the other way around. But again, people call revenge. And again, that's not the first time that I've heard this. So again, we have truly got to understand what is happening here. People have got to step back far enough to understand that again, it's people they try to label it as justified, even though even though it's not, they try to label it that way, the other way around, because the poor oppressed people. Again, we have got to understand that's not true. How you close to being true? But again, that's what they label it. You know, again, you're being taken advantage of and you don't even realize it. You're being taken advantage of. You, we have to understand everything is equal under the law, which is all you can ever have. And uh, right now, we do have to understand the majority uh, of violent crime in this country, over 50%, is committed by less than 13% of the population. But again, people, they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to hear that. This is gunman's name is Ryan Christopher Paul Meter, 24 years old. Uh, again, uh, had a number of racist manifestos the police uh, have also uh, announced. And what also jumps out at me here, uh, we're talking about a state where they've expanded gun rights. They made it easy for people to have guns. You also have this constant racist attack on black people, attack on critical race theory, attack on DEI, attack on, quote, wokeness. And so what you have is the likes of Governor Ron DeSantis in Florida, Governor Greg Abbott in Texas, and literally the entire Republican Party on a constant assault against black people and other minorities and the people who they are appealing to are the folks like this shooter. And here's the interracial violent crime stats from 2018. White on black crime, 59,778 cases. Black and white violent crime, 547,948 cases. Again, they're trying to get you to look only at one, not the other. I mean, truly, what is going on is evil. Again, they're fanning the flames of racial division in this country. But again, they're not telling you the truth, what is actually happening. You know, people are being played, and they love being played. We have a vindictive governor who only cares about pandering to a base of voters. I mean, if you just look at his track record here across the state of Florida, the first thing that he did and pushed when I came into office was HB1, the anti-protest bill, hate bill one. And, and what that was, was it was a response to the majority peaceful protest that took place in 2020 after the brutal execution of George Floyd, and though it, they passed a bill to make it harder for black people to congregate and to push back and, and to push policies, they were upset because they knew when we come together, we, we are powerful and we're able to get things changed. They Guys, right here, we truly have got to understand what they're doing, what she's saying. You know, she's saying, again, they want to prevent black people from getting together, you know, peacefully protesting. No, they don't. It's probably the rioting. Again, it's probably tearing stuff up, burning stuff down. That's what he's trying to prevent. Because again, man, you can say whatever you want to say. But again, that was happening. And that is what he's trying to prevent. So we truly get to look at that. What you're doing right now is you're lying. You are clearly 
lying. And what you have here, uh, you know, the governor comes out, announces a million dollars for security uh, at Edward Waters. I saw a story, Shannon Watts, of course, uh, with Moms Who Demand Action, posted this where uh, Florida is spending some $61 million to bulletproof uh, off some, you know, uh, uh, government offices there. It's, ki it's kind of stupid that you would spend $61 million to to bulletproof um, buildings but then you want more folks to have guns, even when you have sheriffs and others who oppose the expansion of guns. Uh you are lying. Majority of sheriffs, they support people on guns. Again, law-abiding citizens own guns legally. They do. And we, we truly also have to remember, man, majority of violent crime with guns come from people that obtain guns illegally. We truly got to recognize that. He is not wanting to put guns in people's hands that are criminals. Again, that's what you want to focus on. That's not what he's trying to do. Again, are people going to do things wrong? Yes, they are. They truly are. But again, we do have to recognize the majority of people that hurt and kill people with guns are criminals that obtain guns illegally. Oh, yeah, Roland, man, here's a novel idea. If you want to do something about the gun violence problem in this country, why don't you go into the inner cities and write up the guns that people obtain illegally and tell black Democrats to stop shooting each other? That might actually do something about the gun violence problem in this country. Look at these races who, who write these manifestos. The, the reality is they are listening to conservative talk radio. They're watching Fox News. They are constantly seeing the demonization of black people. And so what you have here are young white men, guys like him, guys like Dylan Roof and others who have been who have this somehow misguided notion that, oh, my goodness, their world is falling apart. They will not be able to partake in the American dream and they blame it on black people. And this is the end result. Three black people shot and killed uh, in Jacksonville, Florida. You know what, Roll Man? He might have listened to conservative talk radio, but that's not where he gets hatred or his anger from. We truly have to recognize that, man. Again, conservative talk radio, people like the, right, the late great Rush Limbaugh, people like Jesse Lee Peterson, Larry Elder. No. Again, we have truly got to understand they're not spewing hate. Again, they're talking facts. They're trying to get people to wake up to what's going on. The people that fan the flames of racial division in this country are you. And people like you. People like Dr. Rashad Ritchie. You guys are the ones that you hate. You guys are the ones that misrepresent the data. We truly have got to understand that. We also got to look at, man, again, Black people are killed by black folks all the damn time. You know, again, we we see there's a huge problem, again, of illegal guns, you know, guns obtained illegally in inner cities, you know, black people are running around shooting each other, jumping on cars, looting, whatever, doing whatever the hell they want. And again, that's okay. But again, some one white guy who was apparently a white supremacist, again, went and killed three black people, and that, again, national news. But again, we truly have got to understand, again, a, a black guy that goes into a store and kills some white people, he was looking to kill white people in, in Oklahoma earlier this year. No, again, not national news. Nobody hears, but nobody cares. You know, again, we have truly got to understand a guy in Louisiana, again, a white guy, gunned down by two black guys because he's white. Again, they had no idea who the guy was. He was just white, and they were looking to kill a white person. So, again, we truly have got to understand not national news. People don't care. They don't. So, again, we have to truly recognize what is happening here. What is happening in this country? 
again, it's the other way around. Things are happening the other way around. But again, we have to recognize that black people right now, even though they're less than 13% of the population, they commit over half of all violent crime in this country. We have truly got to recognize that. There is a real problem in this country. And again, man, if people listen to people like you, they don't understand what's going on. They truly don't. But it, again, what what this guy did down in Florida was horrible. It was horrible. It was heinous. But again, man, you keep fanning those flames of racial division in this country, you're probably going to see more and more of it. But hey, guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. You son of a... You son of a... You son of a... You son of a...